huh, five things I would implement if I was Hoyaverse. Well, the first thing I would want is taunts. Well, you guys get my point. Taunts are something that gives characters more personality and makes you feel closer to them. I feel like Hoyaverse can really take advantage of this feature by implementing this into the game. And by just maybe an update or letting us just buy it in the shop with Primo Gems. The types of taunts they can have are so vast, like a laughing taunt. Or a face palming taunt. Or a thumbs down taunt. And more. Just imagine you walking up to a boss and you do a face palming taunt. I think that'll be sick. I think you guys will agree with me. Also, each character in the game can have a specific taunt for themselves that other characters don't have. Like, for example, Shin Yan playing her guitar or Xiao putting his mask on and he says, I'll quote like, All my enemies must die. Or something like that. Anyway, moving on. Okay, for the second thing I would want in Genshin is to be able to summon characters. Or you could call it backup, Wh whichever you prefer. And no, I don't mean to gotcha. I mean to literally summon characters to battle with you while you're fighting enemies. Okay, this one might be a long shot, but I thought it was worth putting in the video. Because listen, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes while doing commissions or just fighting enemies, I get kind of lonely. So I was thinking maybe Hoyaverse should implement a feature where you can call characters you have in your characters list to help you fight in battles, you know? The ones that you build and have good stats on, you know, just to help you out, you know, or just to chill around. I don't know, I just thought this would be cool with the people who get lonely like me in battle and just want someone to join them, besides just players, you know? Anyway, on to the next one, let's go. The third thing I would want in Genshin is that on character birthdays, I want to be able to hang out with them and celebrate their birthday. I feel like what they do now is cool and all, but they could do so much more. They could improve so much more. If not a birthday hangout, there may be a personal picture of the traveler chilling with that character on their birthday. I know how your can do it. I feel like they have the resource for it and it just, I feel like it'll make that system so much better if they, they got the chance. Okay, this was a short one, but not everything has to be big and grand. Some, some things, sometimes we just need little things just to make the game better. And I feel like this will make the game a lot better and make us enjoy the characters even more than we already do, in my opinion. Anyway, on to the next one. Let me ask you guys what you do in your teapot after you build and gather your plants and go to the shop. You just leave, right? Well, that's what I usually do. But for this next thing I'm about to say, I feel like we all could use and will love, and that is having a training partner. To try out all your damage on without going to a spiral or abyss. Also, this won't be any ordinary training partner. The partner would be your own characters that you have in the teapot. You would be able to change their power level or difficulty of the character you're fighting. Sounds cool, right? And whatever difficulty you fight your training partner in, you gain friendship experience depending on the ch how challenging you make your partner, which I feel people will love because, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but it takes me a long time to raise my character's friendship level all the way up to 10, like a long time, like 
it takes months unless you have a friend that that's in your that could come in your world all the time um which i don't so <laughs> that's not gonna work so i feel like this method will make people want to go to their teapot more and gay friendship experience like i feel like that's the best course of action for hoyaverse to do because i feel like all types of people would join it people who love the fight the the, the fighting system in the game and people who just want to hang out in a teapot and doesn't have anything else to do and i feel like you could fight in your own characters to see how strong they are or to test out your own damage like what you're doing at the moment i feel like that would be cool but hey that's just me now on to the last one let's go artifacts tisk 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 the bane of my existence and probably every player of Genshin impact hoyover should be ashamed of themselves uh this kind of odds in this game this this kind of luck it's unbelievable you need to get good stats in this game all your artifacts it's it's crazy it's like almost unbelievable how they expect you to get good artifacts and these these trash domains these the rates on the artifacts in this game it's unreal but what happens if they will add an item that gives you better luck on artifacts when running domains or weekly bosses mm, interesting right i feel like it's easier to get a c6 on a five star than getting good stats on the artifact set or am I wrong? Let me know, guys, because I feel like I'm right. That's why I feel Hoyaverse should introduce an item that, like, condensed resin, where instead of getting more artifacts, you can increase the odds of getting better artifacts because I think choosing your stats will be just a tiny bit OP. I can speak for the whole community when I say that artifacts are a scam in this game. But that's just me, in my humble opinion. Of course also we only can use this item once per day and to keep it somewhat realistic for hoyaverse maybe they can put it into the shop so you could buy it for i don't know for like something low like 50 primo gems each day like and you can't overspend like you can't get a bunch of them but you only get one each day if you decide to use your primo gems for that i feel like that'd be a good compromise you know because since you can't Cause I think I don't think it'll be fair. They put in a battle pass or something, or I don't know. I, it shouldn't be something you get on the regular. It has to be because getting good artifacts, that's like half the half the game practically. Getting good artifacts is like half the game. So I feel like it should be somewhat challenging to get some, but not too too challenging like it is right now. But hey, that's just me. This is something I feel like Genshin really definitely needs. It'll make the game 100 times more better, in my opinion. If the other four don't come true, then I just hope this one does because I feel like this one is the most important. That's why I saved it for last. And I hope you guys like the list because I just wanted to put some little minor things that I wanted to be in the game to make it more fun for me and for everybody else. But hey, you guys might not like it or you might get, you guys might have better suggestions than me. Let me know down below and I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll do another one of these if you guys want it, that is. But anyway. I'll see you guys later. Mr. Orange out. Peace.